One of the country's most popular water parks remains closed this morning as investigators try to piece together what led to a horrific summer tragedy. Officials have yet to determine what exactly happened, but a 10 year old boy somehow went airborne and died yesterday in Kansas City, Kansas. The ride, certified as the tallest by the Guinness Book of World Records, features a nearly 170 foot plunge at 65 miles an hour. 10 year old Caleb, the son of a Kansas state lawmaker, was at the park on a fun family outing when the accident happened. And back here, rescue crews are now in a recovery mode, searching the Cumberland River for a missing man. He was swimming across to the far side of the bank yesterday afternoon when he went under and never resurfaced. Witnesses told police the man asked to borrow swimming trunks, but when he was told no, he stripped down and jumped in anyway. A nightmare for travelers in the skies today after a global snafu grounded Delta, all of Delta Airlines for a time. Limited departures resuming at this hour, however, following a power outage in Atlanta that zapped computer systems and operations worldwide. Thousands of people were stranded because of cancellations and delays overnight, and that trickled into the busy Monday morning schedule at airports. Delta Airlines says delays and cancellations are continuing as they gradually try to resume normal operations. Now flight tracking services indicate only a handful of flights are taking off instead of the usual hundreds. It's a mess.